Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habita fi Allah As we were mentioning In distinguishing between Islam And the deviance Concept of jihad Which in fact has nothing to do with jihad We were discussing that One of the main points is that they Believe in perpetual fighting and they don't honor the Sharia categories and character uh, categories for classifying non-Muslims and even other Muslims uh, in accordance with the jurist of Islam, according to the classical Islamic text. Another important point in which we were mentioning is that for them, and this is one of the biggest ways in which they differ, and this is a a broad encompassing principle which causes them to deviate from Islam and the Islamic concept of jihad and from the uh, menhaj or methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And this is that <clears throat> they believe, like many of the other revolutionary groups in the 19th century from amongst the communists and anarchists that the means uh, the ends justifies the means so meaning if that that they believe they have a good means they believe they are upholding the sharia they believe they are establishing a khalifa they believe they are making islam victorious this is what they believe in their minds then they believe that by any means necessary they can achieve that and they will use their means and try to fit their means into the constructs of Islam meaning that they will look to the Quran and the Sunnah and the fatawa of the classical jurists to try to legitimize those actions of terror and wickedness and mischief and evil that they spread around the world. They will try to do that in the name of Allah, which is a major wicked sin, in the name of Islam, which is also wicked, evil, deviance, and in the name of uh, jihad. But in fact, this is the jihad of the shaitan, of the devil. And so for them, as we said, the ends justify the means. So, that means for them that they can do whatever it takes to achieve their ends, no matter whether it's Islamic or un-Islamic. For example, suicide missions or suicide bombings. And suicide bombings and killing of soft targets. Soft targets, meaning places like uh, places that are not uh, associated with the military and the establishment necessarily but soft targets mean they can attack hospitals like they did in Yemen they went and they just shot up and killed doctors and nurses Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, Daesh and uh, the Al-Qaeda and even the Taliban a lot of these deviant groups this is how they operate just it's, it's very difficult to understand what in common that what they have in common with Islam and in fact it's just a wicked deception Talbis Iblis of the, the Shaitan that they try to wrap their evil in the cloak of the holy and the righteous of Islam so for them for example what just took place in uh, the UK in Manchester and uh, in London, all, all these various attacks, guy, guys jump out of a van with knives, stabbing people, okay? Running over people with the trucks. They have these deviant, devilish means for killing civilians, which Islam uh, prohibits. They don't have the right... For, uh, they don't have the right to for jihad, number one. Number two, what they're doing is not jihad. 
Number three, they are killing soft targets, which Islam forbids. Number four, they are uh, violating any treaties and any agreements that Muslim governments have with the non-Muslims of the West. Number, f uh, the, the next thing, I don't know if it's number five or number six, they are also violating and, and, be, and destroying the Dawah efforts of the Muslims who are trying to represent Islam in its right, truthful light, which is that which would cause uh, harmony and cause peace and stability and that which will cause people to reform themselves and their society in a righteous means pleasing the creator of the heavens and earth. But these deviants, so many of them were criminals, some of them were educated, various different walks of life, believe that they're leaving wherever they leave. They might leave Saudi Arabia, they might leave America. And they go and make hijra to these deviant people and end up blowing themselves up, committing suicide. But they, and even in the Arabic terminology, okay, we in, in English we say suicide missions, okay? In Arabic they say amaliat istishhadiyya, that these are martyrdom operations. So here they rephrase that which has a, an, a deviant origin, they give it a new terminology to package it as an Islamic concept to justify doing something is un-Islamic. And as the scholars of Islam mention, as a fifth principle, al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musamiyat, that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. So meaning that the name change does not change the substance. The fact that these people are strapping themselves with bombs and blowing their guts out, blowing their heads up in the air, and their limbs to pieces, in order to make a military advance or even worse these are not just in the conflict zones these are also in uh, societies around the world in malls in uh, you know as we mentioned soft target targeting civilians concerts nightclubs blowing people to bits causing death and destruction and then having the nerve to say that it's in the name of Allah and the name of Islam what kind of evil wicked deviant demonology is this they also encourage something which I have not seen at all in my limited studies of course I'm not a scholar but these calls for lone wolf attacks Get a knife and kill. Get a knife and cut someone's throat. And I'm just going to end because this is a huge topic. This is a topic of research. In fact, this is my PhD thesis has to do with this. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to end by one of their quotes to show you how evil, destructive, and deviant, and that this is what fuels and this is what is partly behind the, evian, the, the evil that we see of what happened in Manchester, what happened just recently in Australia, uh, if these are real attacks and in all these other various places and what will continue to happen because they inspire people to do evil the devil is active in Tilbis in deceiving people deceiving the youth distorting Islamic concepts for these people to cause destruction chaos and terror and I'll show you exactly uh, We'll end with a, a quote. Aside from the numerous amounts of deaths that we see, here's what they said, and this was in Minnesota, They about the Somali youth who stabbed uh, 10 people. He said, our brother, Bahir, uh, Bahir Adin, stabbed 10 kuffar in the state of Minnesota in response to the calls to target the citizens of the nations involved in the Crusader coalition. So basically, they say that since you're attacking us, we want to encourage the people around the world to attack your civilians, cause terror, and cause fear, and cause bloodshed, no matter who they are. Uh, they also justify and mention 
that the Tunisian individual who killed the people on the beach at the beach resort shooting people just killing people who are just on vacation no matter who they are Muslim non-Muslim whatever and regardless of whether it's Muslim or non-Muslim they've undermined the authority there in that country which is against Islam rebelling against the ruler breaking the pacts and the treaties these people entered under a covenant that they could come to this country and and do, and do whatever activities, business activities, go to the resort, vacation, whatever they do. They have a pact in the treaties. But no, the deviants don't see that. The deviants, and this is how they are deviants. Why are they deviants? Because they deviate from Islam. They deviate from Islamic concepts. And I'll end with this quote to show you their wicked, demonic methodology. And how can anyone who hears this think this has anything to do with Islam. Here's what they say. Muslims currently living in Dar al-Kufr, Dar al-Kufr meaning the, a non-Islamic uh, country, must be reminded that the blood of the disbelievers is halal, meaning that to kill uh, non-Muslims is halal. This is what they say. And killing them is a form of worship of Allah. This is what they say. The Lord, King, and God of mankind. So Allah created all of his creatures, but Allah wants you to just kill and slaughter his creatures? What kind of intellect is this? This includes, listen to this, this includes the businessman riding to work in the taxi cab. I'm not sure what he's done. The young adults post -pu pubescent children engaged in sports activities in the park. The old man waiting in line to buy a sandwich. Indeed, even the blood of the Kafir street vendor selling flowers to those passing by is halal to shed and striking terror into the hearts of all disbelievers is a Muslim's duty. This is in accordance with their statements from their magazines. A direct quote. I think we don't need to say anything else. If you don't have an understanding of the difference between Islam and this wretched terror, then I fear you will never know. Ignorance can only be removed with knowledge. And there is nothing more ignorant than one who is ignorant or ignorance. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.